I just watched the new Salem Slot that came out in 2024. I didn't hate it, but I also didn't love it. It wasn't my favorite movie, but not the worst one I've ever seen, to be honest with you. And if you haven't seen it, it's essentially a guy moves back to his hometown. And he has a tragic story, to be honest with you. And he comes to find out that, uh-oh, the town's been taken over by vampires. And we got to fight back. Some of the characters definitely stepped up in the big moment, but some of them definitely disappointed, if I'm going to be honest with you here. Uh, main character finds a love interest along the way. I mean, who doesn't love a good love interest? I, I, I love seeing people in love, you know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's a good feeling to see that in a movie. And this time, it definitely didn't end the way you would expect it to, which is a shame. But, I mean, what are you going to do? It is what it is. Yeah, I mean, the vampires take over. A lot of action, a lot of fighting some blood. So I think my favorite part of the movie for sure was the time period that it was set in. I personally didn't grow up in, uh, I don't even know what time period this is, whatever drive-in movie. You know, the, the second the drive-in movie appeared on the screen, a smile from ear to ear on my face. It just, times had to be easier back then. No, all I was seeing, I didn't see a single iPhone in the movie. I saw people just being people, Dudes being dudes, people sneaking into the movie theater through the trunk. I mean, come on. People having fun. Going to the movie theater, not even the movie theater, the drive-in movie theater. You don't see those anymore. I wish I grew up in that time period, to be honest with you. Yeah, and uh, also, if I had to bet, put some money on the movie to, 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 to bet who would live by the end of the movie, who would be alive, and I had to guess, I would have lost all my money. I would have been homeless by next week, for sure. So... Yeah, that's, if I had to rate the movie on a scale 1 to 10, 1 being shit, 10 being amazing, I'd probably go maybe a 5.3, slightly above average. I mean, who slightly above average. I mean, if you're average, it's it, you can't complain with being average, you know what I mean? I, I It is what it is. Now, on to the other version of me where I talk about the card content of this type of video. It's, I'm trying something new, so we're going to see how this thing goes. All right, so here is that something new that I was just saying. So what I'm going to be doing is for every movie that I watch or mostly every movie that I watch, I'm going to essentially take a look through the entire cast and I'm going to see if you can get their autograph in any other card set out there in existence if the specific movie or show does not have a card set. So yeah, this list isn't too big and yeah so starting off we have pilu asbake i know i'm butchering the hell out of the name but he played richard straker in this movie and he actually if you've ever seen game of thrones he was in game of thrones he played euron Greyjoy. he has a couple of autographs but this one he has a season eight inscription he actually played that role phenomenally in the movie so yeah if you haven't seen that show definitely go check that out Next, we have Alfrey Woodard. She played Dr. Cody in the movie. And she was also in a couple of these sets are actually pretty old. She was in a 2008 Star Trek set. And that is, what is that? For, that's 16 years old. So that was 16 years ago. That's crazy. I wouldn't even have guessed <laughs> that she was in Star Trek. But yeah, she was. So that is her. And then moving on, we have William Sadler, who played Constable Parkins. And he was in another old set in, in a 2003 Outer Limits. I have never heard of that show. I don't even know what the show is about. But they have a set, and I believe this is a Rittenhouse card set as well. So that's probably not a super massively produced card set. So that'd be cool to get his autograph. Probably is not too many out there. And last but not least, probably... The second best name on this list, in my opinion, we have John Benjamin Hickey. He played Father Callahan, and he was also in the... I'm not really sure what this is. It's it, The set is called The Seeker Dark is Rising. This came out in 2007. It's an Inkworks autograph, so I'm not 100% sure. And I am also certain that he also played in Pitch Perfect, the original Pitch Perfect movie he was mr mitchell which was becca's dad if you couldn't connect those dots i just did for you so that's the fun fact of the day right there and that concludes the list of all the autographs that i found that you can get of people that played a role in the 2024 film 
Salem's lot. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned till next video. Also, let me know if you have any good movies that I should watch because I love watching movies. And yeah, I just want to keep watching movies and, and finding out these cards. So let me know if you have any suggestions down below. And yeah. Oh.